What's up, people? Fishburger here with the answers to yesterday's questions. First up, uh, this is the apartment I live in. I have the Weasel Tower. I think it's apartment 103 uh, for anyone that wanted to know. I don't like that other 400k apartment because when you play public, too many people camp outside there with tanks. So I'm just going to cycle through some of these questions and uh, going to ride around on the bike at the same time. First up from Philip Goodenson. What does your GTA Online garage look like? Well, since the High Life update, I've bought another 10 car just garage. I mean, you don't really need two houses. And now I've bought some of the cars that I wanted to have, but I couldn't have back in the past because of room. Uh, this one here is really cool. I forget the name. I don't spend a lot of time in cars. Um, this is obviously one of the newer cars as well. I like this Vacker. It's one of my favorites. This Rolls Royce thing I've had for, well, basically since I started. Same with my Adda. I've had that since the beginning. I think that's that new SUV thing, black on black on black. Uh, it's the only way to have it. I used to have all my cars black on black, but it's too much. Um, this is a Galavanta, I think. I haven't done any mods to some of these cars because, like I say, I just bought them and uh, haven't got around to it yet. I think this is a Monroe GT. I'm not sure what that this thing is called. It's cool though, retro. Cool as. Same with this thing here, that new thing. I forget the name of it. Zentorno or something. Really sick. Black on black. Only way to have it. And we have a Turismo R. Also got a couple of bikes. Got a Scorcher from when I did that Scorcher video. And two BMXs. Right, so I'm just going to ride around and answer these. I've got a few of them uh, written down. And um, let's get into it. Second question, LSAT Productions. How old are you and where are you from? Well, my name is Matt. I'm 27. I live in New Zealand. And uh, it's coming into winter at the moment, so the weather's pretty crap. Razable Ninja. How did you get into BMX on GTA 5? Well, I got into BMX about December last year because I was seeing a BMX videos out and to be honest I thought they were shit. I mean there was a lot of like video, BMX videos getting like millions of views and it was just garbage and that's why I thought, I mean I've always been into skateboarding and playing you know skate, skate 1, 2 and 3 and those games and I love that free ride aspect of a of an open city where you can go and just create stuff and uh, that's why I started getting into the BMX because it's it's basically pure creation it's endless and in a massive world like this you can just I mean it's never gonna end there's just so many cool things to do so many awesome spots so many spots that I've just made you know out of nothing you know something and things like uh, there's, there's spots and things in this world that are they're like they're nothing spots but on a BMX you can make something out of them you know and that's what I love about it Kush one, can I draw a vagina? No, I could not draw a vagina to save my life. I probably could. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen a real one, but uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Strange question though. Good work. Emil Nielsen, DK. When you do a BMX stunt, do you try it over and over and over again, or do you make it first try? Most times, I go somewhere, I see something I'd like to do, I think there's something that could be done on that spot. I give it a go for a little bit. And then I start working out exactly what can be done and how I can do it. And it usually takes me about 15 minutes to 30 minutes at most for the hardest stuff. But in saying that, I've had spots where I've spent hours at and hours and hours and hours for, you know, 10 seconds of clip, which is kind of insane, really, when you think about it that way. But um, I like to, as you guys know, I don't let any any clips go out that are substandard or wonky landing or you know shitty run up or knocking into stuff or I really like get quite perfectionist about the whole thing. Jordan Gillard, how do you do the arse slide? Well the arse slide is like the handlebar grind in that it goes against everything that you think you should be doing in a slide whereas you sort of have to, same with the handlebar, you're going in head first and you gotta keep going. The R slide's the same, you almost go in and backwards, almost like a backflip. Um, takes some time to get it right, but it's obviously it is doable and it's just getting used to that sort of against your, uh, it's, it goes against the feeling of what you should be doing. But yeah, it took me a while to learn it, probably about half a day. 
Uh, Yu Chung, do you lift? No, I do not lift. I, not at all. I used to, peeps, but uh, not at the moment. I work at a gold mine over here. Well, I used to. I'm still employed there, but um, I had a workplace accident and I broke a piece off my ankle and I've had a couple of surgeries since then and um, basically my ankle's never going to be right so I have a lot of free time and hence why I play GTA every day basically. Redstone Tutorials Why did you start YouTube? Well I started YouTube because um, like most people I started playing COD uh, back in the day and I was really into COD and I was uploading some COD stuff and that was like last year and I was getting into sniping and things like that and I was uploading quad feeds for recruitment challenges and stuff like that and um, and then Ghost came out, Call of Duty Ghost and I mean I knew it was going to be crap but I don't think anyone really realised how bad that game was going to be and I think uh, everyone just basically hates it. The only people that like that game are campers and you know basically guys that play like shit dogs. Um, but yeah, that's why I started. I I was making Call of Duty stuff, um, and it just sort of went from there because I got so angry with Ghost that I decided to start playing GDA. Um, cause Ghost, quite yeah, it just it just made me so angry. I was just you know I was like I didn't want to be playing angry and and that and where the BMX is, I can just put some beats on and and just ride around and and do my own thing. And that's what I love about this game. Next question. Do you want to marry me? Oh no, it's in the same part of the question. That's interesting. Uh, Buddy Lalutre. Why don't you climb a wall on the BMX? Well, personally, my opinion on all that wall glitching and, you know, glitching up the side of skyscrapers and shit, not only is it ugly as hell, it's, it's gay. I mean, it's not cool. And anyone who thinks that sort of stuff's cool, you know, you might want to get a mirror and have a look in it because it's trash um, but yeah I'll never ever put out anything like that anything to do with like glitching the mechanics of the bike or anything like that nah don't want to know about it <sighs> next one add a waddy would you do a face cam one day uh, yeah for sure I'll do a face cam and might be a bit down the track but yeah I'll definitely do that 8-bit gab I have a question why is your name fishy dizzle well, uh, this comes from back in the day when me and my brother were younger and partying a lot. Um, this is when Snoop Dogg was doing a lot of for shizzle my nizzle lyrics. And I remember saying, uh, if, I had, if I was a rapper, my name would be Fishy Dizzle. Um, and Fishy Dizzle basically means fishy dick or smelly dick. <laughs> and uh, it's from when I was going through a lot of girls back in the day. But that's where it comes from. Cloud Theory 19. Do you BMX in real life? I do have a BMX, I have a light blue one, um, but I, being that it's into winter here, I'm basically being too lazy to BMX, but I do have one, I'm not very good at it, but it is good fun. Uh, Game Boy 07, boobs or booty, choose one and why? Gee, that's a tough one. Um, probably boobs, always been a boobs guy, um, but it's real close to being a, a real 50-50 split on that. Either or either, if you can get one or the other, like, good on you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, okay, here we go, next one. Casey Martell, <clears throat> will you make longer videos? Yep, um, been thinking about making longer videos for a long time, um, but I've always had the, the opinion that you should leave people wanting to watch more of your content rather than getting bored um, during a video. But that is something that I'm definitely looking at. And obviously, this video is going to be quite a long one as well. Drake Padilla, will you ever do a BMX meet with us on GDA 5? Well, actually, something I've been planning for a week or two now is I was hoping to get, um, you know, 10 people, 12 people, 15 people, whatever, in a lobby um, of you guys on 360 and recording it and having a big uh, session in a lobby. And... I'm partly blamed on myself because I, when I'm recording stuff or if I'm tied up in a really hard spot, I like to play by myself, which is kind of like, um, it's kind of antisocial, but it's when I, it's when I get my best clips, like if I'm playing with people, 
it's hard for me to focus because everyone's sort of dicking around and chatting away and party chat and that so if i've ever um, if i ever you know ignore you or whatever on xbox it's not anything personal it's just because i'm busy um Dalbear, will you ever be returning to cod that's funny you say that because the last few days i've been playing black ops 2 um gone back to that myself and prolific and having a great time we playing a bit of league play getting a bit sweaty and um it's nice to just have a break from GDA every now and then, but in saying that, being Call of Duty, it makes me angry as sometimes as well, and, and then I start raging, and yeah, I just, you know, it makes me not want to play it. Last question, could you upload, uh, sorry, by Marez, could you upload other types of extreme sports? Um, well, obviously this is a, it's a BMX channel, and I have thought about these things, and I've thought about doing that, but I'm worried that, you know, like, people will see something that's not BMX, and then, you know, not be not that happy about it. I mean, for sure, if you guys want me to do other stuff, I will, so let us know in the comments, but I mean, I do have the other videos that I do, I mean, I obviously have the Bales ones, and, and I have... You know that like that one uh what i do when i'm not bmxing i do do a bit of uh sanchez stuff and and some stunting and i'm not very good at stunting at all but i still find it fun but yeah let me know what you think about that um but it's something that can be definitely logged into well i'm at the end of my notepad here so it looks like i've come to the end of the questions so i just want to say thanks um for your questions and hopefully you guys have learned a bit more about me and basically to stay tuned for the big BMX GDA videos. So have a good one guys and I will see you on the next one.